My name is Saul. Uh, real quick, uh, I, I'm first generation Mexican. I speak English and Spanish. And some people, yeah, you whistle at that. That's good. They pe people sometimes when I tell people that they assume fluent Spanish. And at the end of the show, I've got some guy. Oh, I'm like, oh man, I made a whole mistake right here. <laughs> I speak some Spanish, and they say Spanish is like a sexy language. To which I disagree because I speak it with this voice, you know. <laughs> so anytime I try to come off all Casanova with a girl and it sound like a Mexican flea market merchant trying to sell discount fruit. <laughs> like, oh yeah, senora, you want some papaya? <laughs> like, did you get her number last night? Like, nah, man, but I sold her some Tangelos in a grocery store bag. <laughs> I'm getting all kinds of action, you know. Something I do, uh, I grew up poor in, in a poor town. I, I went to a lot of flea markets and I saw something at my local flea market that bugged me. I saw a, a, a cop on a bike. Why, why do those still exist? I'm not saying let's defund all the police, but like at least the ones powered by Huffies, you know? <laughs> he was like, he was doing it too. Like, I don't, he was like having too fun being a cop. Like he was, he was like wiggling his hips a little bit and he was ding, ding, ring, ring. I was like, are you pulling someone over? Or is that like a paper route? Cause I feel, I don't like that at all. I, it just feels like it's the only department that does goofy shit like that. You don't see the fire department going like, oh, well we should rollerblade into that burning building. <laughs> How fun would that be? We go on there like drive through waitresses. Who ordered water? You know, like. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I shouldn't be too harsh on cops. I feel like we either have, either have no money to keep cops on the streets or train them right, or they have so much money that they have like weird meetings on how they should spend that money. They like come together, like, hey, you know what we should do? They go, what? We should buy a horse. <laughs> what do you want to do with a horse? Fuck it, let's make it a cop. <laughs> Horse cops. Okay. But like in the country? New York City. <laughs> I saw one on Hollywood Boulevard. He took a shit on the Patti LaBelle star. I was like, who pays for that, huh? Better not be my tax dollars. I don't know. I come, like I said, I grew up poor, so I had a lot of homeless friends growing up, and I can't even say that in this town without somebody getting mad at me. I get corrected a lot. It's unhoused. This is the fattest way I'll explain any type of logic ever. If you have a hot dog and someone takes your hot dog away, you are now hot dogless. <laughs> you would not care, like, oh, I've been unhot dogged, you know? <laughs> You would still be without the fucking hot dog, you know? <laughs> We're fake in this city. We pretend like we care about poor people, but we don't. We care about what we see with our eyes. I heard someone the other day complain, I don't like these tents. I don't like looking at them. Well, I like those tents. Because if we're not going to fix the problem, all those tents do is block our eyes from the nefarious shit happening under tents. <laughs> you take the tent out of the equation now. Some guy smoking crack with a smile. And I don't want to see that. I'm trying to drive home from Trader Joe's, all right? I don't want to see some guy making snow angels and bike parts, okay? Some of you shut down a little bit, but you don't... You, I live on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm emotional about it. I saw some guy on the Walk of Fame. He was ODing. The sun was out. It was noon. I was looking at him. I was like, there should be a tent there, man. <laughs> that should be none of my business, dog. <laughs> This is America. I thought your man should be able to OD in the privacy of his own tent. I say. <laughs> I guess I grew up different from you guys. I had an immigrant grandmother who had a house, and when she got that house, she, she took in a homeless person. And not like how you see on TV, you take them to rehab, you clean them up, because life's, that's, that's beautiful. Life's not that beautiful. He was addicted to methamphetamines, and we took him in as is. But the problem is, it was just like, all right, you, you stay in the shack in the backyard. She's, this is the treaty. Stay in the shack in the backyard, but you got to keep the front yard clean. And that was the treaty for years. But he's addicted to meth. So sometimes people addicted to meth, they will live forever, all right? Because he is still back there. My grandma's been dead. My mom has him now. And then when I get the house, I inherit a tweaker butler. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but he's an outside tweaker butler, all right? He tries to come into my house. I spray him with a bottle like a cat. I go, uh-uh. 
to the show. Oh, I'm sorry, you shutting down again. I'm sorry, if you don't like the way I treat mine, you can go out there and go get one of your own, all right? <laughs> raise them how you like, but don't tell me how to raise mine, all right? <laughs> it's a little mean? All right, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ah, I'm a weird guy. I'm a, I'm a minimalist. Y'all know what that is? A couple people. If you don't know what it means, it's just hipster for poor. That's all. <laughs> means I don't care about stuff, possessions. Like, I like experiences. Like, this is fun. Been alive in the belly. I'm a good experience. Y'all a good experience. Uh, a weirder example would be the shoes on my feet. Some of you will be able to see them. There's some dirty Pumas. They were 45 bucks when they were new. My wife bought them for me. She had to. Because if you leave me to my own devices, I am such a minimalist, I will buy $9 shoes from Walmart. Those don't even come in a box. <laughs> they come in like a bin, loose, like almonds or beans, you know? Not together, I find the left one, I gotta excavate for the right one. <laughs> and people think that's weird. You know what I think is weird? Shoe collections. And I'm not speaking on any race or sex, sneakerheads, a lot of you are in here, you weird me the fuck out. <laughs> You never wear the shoe for what it's for in your life. You never wear like waiting in line at Foot Locker, then three days later, I'm gonna do a layup, see what these fritos are good for. Like, you're gonna wear those to a potluck or an outdoor wedding. Those shoes will never see a basketball court, but they'll be always be around in potato salad, okay? Those are your coleslaw Jordans, is what those are. Some of you feel attacked, because I'm attacking you, all right? I understand. You don't understand. $9 shoes from Walmart, they make stepping in dog shit so liberating. <laughs> Do that with your Jordans on. Now you got a whole project. You got to take the shoe off. You got to get a pen cap or a twig. You got to solve a goddamn maze, you know? $9 shoes, I step in dog shit. I hop right out of them like they just broke. Like, fuck those shoes. You see that? Those malfunctioned, huh? Who broke. Walk right back into Walmart. No shoes on. Nobody bats an eyelash. Like, that's regular people shit here. That's fine. Come in. We see the toes, big boy. Come in for the deals. And then $9, I'm back in the game, baby. Walking around, kicking, you know, not good. I'll commit a crime in $9 shoes tonight. I live on Hollywood Boulevard, I'll commit a crime, put the shoes into a bag, throw that bag into a fire. Those are burner shoes, okay? <laughs> if you didn't understand that joke, you're a good person, God bless you. But those are the cricket wireless of shoes, dog. Those are prepaid shoes. I'll kick those into the ocean, fuck those shoes. <laughs> example, you think if I were to become rich, I'm gonna buy shit like a Lamborghini or a Range Rover? Fuck no. Watch, give me money. I'm gonna buy 16 Honda Civics and just crash them as I go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck, that Sunset Boulevard's issue. I gotta go. <laughs> hey, uh, number seven is down. You gotta bring out number eight. The helicopter, Honda Civic. Look how rich I am, huh? <laughs> hey, y'all have been very fun. My name is Saul. Man. Have a good night. Make some noise for Saul Trujillo, everyone. Let him hear it.